The situation, the situation with security is completely a topic that we will have to take for almost one hour. But let me give you this. Before Buhari, there are bombings everywhere. In Kano, in the UN office in Abuja, everywhere. And since he came in, that has ceased. So many local governments in the hands of Boko Haram. And that has gone also. And right now, the major issue on Boko Haram is centered around Meduguri and some little part of Yobe and, uh, and, and, and uh, Adamawa. That has been uh, reduced significantly. And do you remember those days that you don't go to the market thinking of being bombed? You don't go to churches thinking of being bombed? You don't go to, to, to mocks thinking of being bombed? That, was, that is all over now. But of course, we now face another problem. That has been brewing for all these years. The, 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 the Pulani headsmen, crisis with the farmers, has been brewing for so many years. And that developed over time because of the neglect of the past leaders. And unfortunately for us, it gets right at this time. And President Muhammad Buhari is doing his best to, 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 to solve this problem and to curtail and reduce the onslaught. Governor, uh, there are so a few... Me, yeah, if, okay. we, if, we look, if we look at this critically and analyze it critically, mm -hmm. Certainly, the, 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 the banditry and the kidnapping did not start with Buhari. It just continued. 